One of the things that is interesting about negotiation is that you have to make decisions in the face of uncertainty. Now that becomes a dilemma for many negotiators because it goes against everything that we have learned in formal education. I was legally trained at a great law school and there I learned that we want to get as much information as possible. We want to analyze that information as thoroughly as possible before we render any sort of opinion or make any judgments or pursue any decisions. Now the challenge is when you're sitting at the negotiation table, you don't always have the opportunity to have all of the information that you would like. And so you've got to decide what your next move is going to be before you have the opportunity to capture that information. It creates a real dynamic. Here are three ways in which you can manage it better. The first thing is we've got to know ourselves. Now, in the face of this uncertainty, some of us are very trusting. Some of us are willing to be cooperative, even though we don't know how the other side is going to approach this situation or approach the negotiation. Some of us are a bit more competitive. And so we will hold on tightly to the value that we have, and we will be very reluctant to do anything cooperative until we know that the other side is going to be cooperative as well. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to know yourself. What's your instinct? And that instinct has to be managed in a way that is very strategic. The second thing is we've got to be careful we don't make ourselves vulnerable in a way that is unnecessary or perhaps irrational. It's critical to us that in the face of this uncertainty that we don't do anything where we're putting a lot of value on the table or we're making a major concession until we know that the other person on the other side of the table is ready to do the same thing to try to put a deal together. And the last thing is this, and that is we've got to look for signals of collaboration or cooperation. Now that may not come in a major concession. It may be much more subtle than that. It may be much smaller than that. But before we decide to be too cooperative in a moment like this, we want to make sure that the other side is sending us strong signals that they're willing to be cooperative as well. And so today, to try to achieve one of those signals, I simply asked the other side if they were open to a totally different structure for this deal. Instead of doing a very traditional monthly rent kind of thing, would they be willing to do a deal that was around usage and around the actual evenings in which we used the property? There was an openness to that, which tells me that there's a desire to get this deal done, a desire to work cooperatively to make that happen. As you run into the uncertainty next week, I hope you'll remember these three things. They'll make you more effective and they'll make you a more sophisticated negotiator.